How's everybody doing today on the Silvester's Media Channel? All right, let me tell you something. We got some news here. But you know that that all the NSA indictments are true, according to Info Wars Drudge Report and New York Times and many other sources have cited these this account that all the information that the NSA, Homeland Security, and Department of Homeland Security, and DHS, they're all spying on you, as the reports were indicated on Friday. Also, uh, flood watch in effect t- t- till tomorrow at 12 at p.m., so be careful when you go out to work, if you're in a road near a stream. Uh, please be careful out there so you don't drown. Turn around and don't drown, as they always say. That's a good saying there. And also, we're going to be working on an encryption solution since we know that everything in the cloud and everything can be can be spied upon by your homeland security or by your government. We're, I'm working on a big project. It may not be out this year, but it may come out next year. And it may be an offer with a deal with Comcast or Xfinity where you can buy the service in addition with the normal bundled services you get. But it will truly encrypt your email con- connection, your internet connection, and your telephone conversations. So it'll be more like a multi-platform kind of thing. Anything you do on the web will be truly encrypted where prying eyes or where the government cannot get the data. The only data that they'll get is the garbled mess of junk. And by the time they have the technology to unencrypt it, it won't matter anyway because you won't be alive. So, you know... If you're worried about your security, and since you know I am an IT consultant, the thing that you need to do to increase this, or to increase this, not increase, but decrease this phenomenon of the government prying into your life on the telephone thing, is you need to get what is called a voice over IP telephone. It's called a VIPE. And what that means is voice over internet protocol. And that's short for VIPE, IP. For short, uh, Vonix would be one of those companies. I don't know if Lingo is still in business, but that's another one that's usually a little cheaper than Vonix. But Vonix is the more popular that most people are with. They have an encrypted protocol. However, I think they're also now being scammed by the government. But I'm going to be working on a phone protocol uh, solution that is truly encrypted for consumers. That where I'm going to work out a deal with Comcast or somewhere here eventually where uh, you'll be able to get this service and the government will not have access to it. They'll get your stuff as they normally do, but when they get it, they won't be able to make any... uh, 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 They won't be able to make any uh, sense of it. It'll be just like getting a bunch of garble from an old-timer's patient when they try to cipher it. But anyway, that's what we need to do, folks. And it's not just for the money, but it's for your peace of mind and for your true privacy on the web. It's a shame that we have to use things like virtual VLANs and other ways to get around to circumvent, to get around the government's scope and reach of surveillance in our lives. But, you know, this stuff is really real, like I told you on Friday. It is really true. And like, and it's been going on for probably more than a decade, probably for the last two decades. It's just that we're just now finding out about it. So it's not, it's not new, folks. Though I just want to let you know, be careful what you say, be careful what you do. Until this solution goes online um, just take extra precautions uh, firewall isn't going to keep you safe from them prying into your connection if it's online or if it's in the cloud what I'd say if you got any sensitive stuff get us external drive for your computer and make sure it has no access to the web and the way you can do that is by changing permissions in your firewall settings that it does not have no access to the web of any kind make sure that it doesn't have any and then you can save all your documents on your computer through your external hard drive. Uh, because, you you know, you, even though all most computers that you have today are like mini or ultra books, they call them, or netbooks. That's really what they're called. I said mini. But, yeah, they're mini netbooks and netbooks and ultra books. And all those classes of computers, I think they're just really another way of just being a cheap PC, even though they try to charge a lot for it because they incorporate touch in there logic you know where you can touch the screen and move things around and with your hands and that is so cool but it shouldn't be that expensive because touch technology has been out for over 20 years it's not a new thing and maybe new to the computer but it's not new 
So, you know, they need to bring the prices down. That's why computer sales are also down. In case all those people who sell computers don't know why they're down, that's why. Because nobody's going to want to spend $1,500, $2,000 on a computer that isn't worth nowhere near that. You know, I can go and get a regular computer that isn't a Mac computer. Sorry about you, Mac, but you charge too much money. Apple, you charge way too much money on all your products. You know, I can go and get a, I can go and get a PC from Acer or from Asus or from Asus or any of those, or HP even, and I can get one that does a lot more that's under a thousand dollars, and it will do. It will have a terabyte. It will have eight to maybe even thirteen gigs of RAM installed on it. You know, it will have high resolution, and it will also incorporate touch technology on the screen. So you know, this stuff you can get cheaper. Don't always order. Don't always buy it at the bulk box stores. It's always good to to shop and compare uh, when you go shopping for computers and accessories that are related to your computers or any of your electronic needs. Because you always can get a lot cheaper online. You know, use the internet. You know, and save your money while you still can. Because remember, the internet tax don't go into effect till next year, so you can still save money and still shop without paying the tax on a lot of things still. Because it hasn't gone into effect yet. But it will be going into effect next year sometime. Anyways, this is Michael DeSilvis. My blog for today, May the 10th, 2013. I'll see you tomorrow with another exciting blog. DeSilvis' <laughs> Media, The Freedom Network.